Hello trail travelers. This is Carrie, and we are still in the San Juans. This is our last day here and we're hitting Poughkeepsie Gulch. Uh, to get here, you have to actually come up Engineer Gulch or Engineer Mountain, Engineer Pass, whatever you want to call it. And to do that, you would continue on this way. But to do Poughkeepsie, we're going to head down that direction. So should be a lot of fun, of course. I got Katarina with me in Optimus. We got Josh and Christina in the Rubistino over there. We got Nam over there in his red Rubicon. And we got uh, Adam over there in the white Jeep. We should have some fun today. This is gonna be a difficult trail. We're looking forward to it. So stay right there. We'll be right back with Poughkeepsie Gulch. Okay, we are starting off Poughkeepsie Gulch. This should be fun. This is going to be a difficult trail. It's oh, this is a Jeep Badge of Honor trail. So make sure that you check in for your Jeep Badge of Honor. Recommended high clearance four wheel drive. Well, from what we've read about Poughkeepsie, that is probably an understatement. Um, trails off road puts us upwards of an eight. So this could be a pretty tricky trail. Like I said, it is considered the most difficult of the Jeep Badge of Honor trails here. Now, Black Bear wasn't necessarily difficult in terms of the obstacles, but it was extremely dangerous. And if you made a mistake, it could be very bad. Uh, it was very tippy and uh, yeah, I mean, it, there were some really um, sketchy places that could freak you out. This is just supposed to be hard, so we'll see. We really don't have too much of an idea. But we got right here about 0.15 miles. We got a little creek crossing. Oh, this is, that's pretty cool. Got a tiny little waterfall here off to our side. You got a nice little climb here. You can take this rock side, or there's a little bypass over there. If you want to take it up a little easier. We're gonna try and make the most out of Poughkeepsie Gulch. So we're gonna try and take every obstacle we can. This is kind of cool. We are driving up this, uh, kind of like driving up a river at this point. There's a lot of water coming down. At least it's keeping the, the tires clean, I think. <laughs> so it's kind of fun and very different. It, it almost looks, it almost looks like the water's running uphill at this point. It's kind of strange. We're at about 1.3 miles and there's really nice waterfall off to our passenger side, falling down the this little box canyon type of thing. Wow, that's really pretty. Okay, right here, <clears throat> coming up here at 1.5 miles, you have your option. You can go left or right uh, from what Trails Off-Road tells us. Uh, one is not any more difficult than the other. And uh, we're going to probably basically flip a coin and decide which one we want to go on. Okay, this is, uh, it's called driver option. 
Both routes of this split up to meet about 50 yards ahead. Neither route is more difficult than the other. I'm gonna go high. All right, well, we had a fairly steep climb right there. That was kind of fun. That was much more easy. It looks the right side looks like it might be a little flatter, might be a little easier. Uh, it's hard to say. I mean, without going back and checking both of them, can't really say. But uh, our side going high definitely had a, a, a climb to it that we had to give it a little extra goose to get up. Running to Trails Off Road, there was an optional obstacle right there, which no longer seems to be there. So, uh, looking for. Yeah, because you see the road comes over here. Yeah, we were looking for something a little, a little harder, but it's not there anymore. It's all blocked off. So now we've got this water puddle here, and we have no idea how deep it is. So, since we're in the lead, we're going to take it nice and slow. Okay, it's only about two or three inches deep, so everyone else knows they can cross. All right, this is kind of a cool looking area back here. Got some tough rocks. Got some water on our right hand side. So, gonna have to pick some lines here to maximize our ground clearance. So we're at an obstacle called the wall. Now uh, there is a bypass route on the left and uh, the wall is apparently to the right. So we're gonna go to the right. It says extreme road ahead, recommended high clearance, four wheel drive, winch and lockers. So this should be fairly fun, hopefully. And uh, we'll see what we can do here. We are Diving. heading towards the wall. Signs and not. Got two little paths to take yeah, here. We're gonna go to the right here. Not sure if that's the right move or not. And you just gotta be really careful with these water crossings because you just never know. I mean, we've gone through some when all of a sudden it dipped and dropped three feet. So being the first ones through, we'll take it nice and easy so everybody can see what's there. This is pretty rocky, but not difficult yet. So we'll see what's coming up here. Got another little water crossing.
Okay, there's just some big rocks here. Nothing uh, that's gonna present a problem yet. We're just gonna get a little tippy in a few spots. And the, the key here is gonna be to place tires on the highest or the, the largest largest of the rocks so that you lift your Jeep up to maximize your ground clearance so that you're not scraping your diff or your oil pan. Okay, that wasn't too difficult. All right, we got a bit of a little bit of a climb here. So we'll just go up this rocky section. And here we go. Okay. All right. And what? You can just go around, right? <laughs> well, you, yeah, you could go to the right here, which would be pretty easy. Let me film it. Um, I think I'm gonna try and Let the fun begin. go down the middle and over to the driver's side. I think that'll be a, a pretty good line and I should be able to just come up and go over that. Dry off the tires. Okay, now there you go. Right home, man. Right home.
all about the line. Go, little driver. Little driver. Now keep coming. No hesitation. No, no hesitation. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Keep going. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. You're good. You're good. Let's go. Send it. Send it. Don't stop, don't hesitate. Stay on the gas, use your brake. Keep going, keep going. Right through it, right through it. Right on!
Well, we stopped for lunch here at beautiful Lake Como. This was definitely a worthwhile place to stop. Beautiful teal water here. Really, really pretty. So now we're going to get going back on the trail and uh, see where else this takes us. I think we're almost done here and then we'll have to take some other trails to get back to town. Well, that was the end of Poughkeepsie Gulch. That was a ton of fun. Some of the best obstacles we have seen here all week. It is definitely a fairly difficult road. Don't recommend it. And I mean, these guys are going down an excursion. Not the best choice. You need four wheel drive, high clearance, and uh, some cojones on some of the stuff. None of it's that bad, but it sure looks like it when you're going up the wall. So it was a ton of fun. Thanks for joining us on another adventure. We're heading out. See what else lies ahead of us. Thanks for watching, everybody. This is Carrie with Trail Traveler. Be safe out there. We'll catch you on the trail.